started building drums? Well, at first, when I, I don't know, about 12, 13 years ago, I, I bought an old um, drum set. It was an old cheap drum set, and I didn't, I didn't really like the way it sounded. Um, it just sounded real, real boingish, and it didn't have a lot of warmth to it or anything like that. So I just, I never at that time I never seen anybody else build any drums out of solid wood before. Okay. Um, so actually, I just kind of put some boards together, belt sanded it kind of round, and some of my buddies was like, "Man, you ought to start making these and trying to sell them because it's pretty cool, and you should call it Outlaw Drums since your last name is Outlaw." That I was just like, "Hmm, not a bad idea." So I took some prototypes and built a couple um, drums and just kind of perfected the the way of building it and the process of it and okay i would you know give drummers some drums to try out on the road and stuff like that to see if it kind of um, held up and i would just really just take criticism and just trying to turn that into like a positive state of it so after that we just i just um started started doing it so it just kind of grew from a it started to grow from a from a hobby to a passion I got you and then just my whole life has been kind of intertwined with with drums you know from tearing down the old houses and yeah and um and just bringing some and just plus the whole fact of bringing something you know back to life that's going to be destroyed you know right. just kind of kind of resonated with me as well too but the pine drums they had a unique sound they resonated really nice they had a warmth about it um I just really, really enjoyed the smell of the wood and working with it, and it just kind of grew from that and until we started to sell drums to musicians' friend and guitar center, and um, we've got some, you know, some famous drummers playing our stuff, and you know, so it just kind of went from that, and every everybody they just loving the way that harp pine I got you. sounds and it, the way just everything about it, you know. Okay, so do you consider do you consider that each set becomes a generation of, of does that set that particular set evolve into a line of the same type and then from there you go to another generation of style of uh, well a lot of the times a lot, a lot of drums we build is kind of one-off kits okay the, the the way we build them kind of stays the same because it works really good it's strong durable um, but we'll have a guy call us up and want to build us he has some wood from his granddaddy's farm. I got you. Um, he'll send us. A, I'm building some right now. Uh, he'll be. A, he'll send us some, and we'll just trying to kind of transform it okay. into something like that. Or you got. I've got somebody that you know wants a unique color, or okay. something kind of cool. We're really ain't worried about the reclaimed stuff. Just wants to build just a cool drum set. I got you. Um, we did a, a drum set for a Gideonville Baptist Church out of some old church pews that we had. Really? That that they play in there on their platform um so it just kind of be being really unique about it you know and, okay uh just something that would be different that's kind of what i'm after really i got you that's cool that's cool so your 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 sets by comparison right to the tamas or the slingers or the ludwigs you probably get your price points are probably higher or it's probably on the lines of a collector series dw okay um but these drums are they're solid wood. They're not built like a plywood, plywood drum set right. where you put like multiple veneers. Right. It's, kind of, it's, it's one. It's a solid piece of wood cut on slight angles, okay. glued up, um, and then stacked on top of each other for strength okay. and stability. Um, so by doing it like that, you just you're able to really produce a really strong uh, drum shell. You know, the resonating, build, resonating. Yeah, okay. that's cool. Yeah. Well, thank you. No problem. Thank you. So you you want to show us? Uh, you say you're building something now. Yeah, I got something going process? on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so do you fill in the the, the pitch mm -mm. like not, that? No. Okay. Not on. But what I do, I make sure that that's not around the bearing edge. You know, okay. I try to make sure that the bearing edge is pretty consistent. And if a piece like that does kind of fall yeah. around the bearing edge, I'll um, I'll mix up this special epoxy that gets like super hard. Right. And I'll file it so that it's. Because the, the, really the sound is uh, all about that bearing edge and what that angle is right. cut on to, to really, um, you know, the, the, the really going to separate the difference between having a, a drum that resonates forever and one that kind of gets out of the way real quick, you okay. know. Okay. So that's kind of the thing with, for that. Okay. You know, one thing. 
I got you. Instead of having so many things in the fire, just right. kind of pick something and just kind of go after it. I got you. You know, so we just kind of doing with the solid wood drums. You yeah. Know? Cool. And your, uh, your hardware, you outsource the hardware. Yeah, I, I, get the, I buy the hardware, and um, so, but that, but a lot of times we'll make it. We'll, we'll make the hoops and everything. Really. Um, here's some shells we're making right now. I'm actually doing this for a guy, and um, up in Wisconsin, I believe. Okay. And this is going to be a snare drum for him. It's kind of from his granddaddy's farm. Okay. And um, and I'll just cut it in rings and sections. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll mill it together like this, staggering all the joints, you know? Yeah, I see. So that that's, so everything's kind of help, kind of holding itself together. Right. And I'll clamp it together like that, and it'll be a cylinder. And then once I'll do that, I'll, I'll mill it. Yeah. And basically after I mill it, it'll be just like this. Yeah. It'll Smooth be. shell. Mm-hmm. But this ain't sanded or nothing, but it's just kind of, it's just been milled. Okay. I turn it on my lathe and we'll, we'll spin it and, and uh, it's, it's definitely solid. It's and it, solid. And it, um. And it sounds, it's pretty. It's, it resonates really, really, yeah. really well. And depending on the sound that the drummer's after, like if I got a drummer that wants a real, um, almost like a flat sounding tom. Right. We'll adjust it on the bearing edge. If I got one that wants one that's real. Uh, real sensitive uh, to tones. Tone. Um, I'll adjust that as well, okay. just by the bearing edge. So just depending, and, and plus the, the wood type too. You know, heart pine is going to be a, a real bright sound. Okay. Um, poplar is going to be like the kit I had this weekend at the poplar set, and it's going to have a more of a um, it's a softer hardwood, so it's just going to be a more of a a warmer sound. It's okay. not going to not going to resonate as much as say like maple. Or the uh, the oh, harp pine, pine. Mm -hmm. right? Because it's real hard and old. So, do you build parade batters as well? Um, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I got you. No, just um, we just do like full kits or uh, um, snare drums or somebody. Use, I mean, we can build about basically any size. We can build a um, a ten, eleven, twelve, uh, uh, thirteen, fourteen. And a 15 inch. Okay. Um, okay. Yep. That's cool. Yep. And um, I'm pleased to meet you, man. Yeah, I come in here and I put it on this machine like this right here. And, uh, I put on something like this right here and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll basically just uh, turn my machine on. Yeah. And level it off, you know. Right. To where it's perfectly flat and round. Right. And um, get it just perfect, just exact, and then we'll glue it together. And then I'll spin on my lathe. And it's a very, you know, it's a time, it's a time, yeah, um, killing deal. But you know, it's it's definitely worth it in the long run once you get done. I mean, just versus just getting a bunch of thin veneers, right? Gluing it to it on the cylinder, right? You know, pushing it together and letting them sit. You know. So is this? Uh your training come from high school and you kept going with um the well, i went to moultrie tech okay for uh residential carpentry okay when i was in my 20s and okay. um after that i started um just a lot of it's trial and error right i got you trial and error trying something out seeing if it works playing on it i'm a drummer too um just pulling it out and just really um you know giving it all i got to see if it's gonna hold up i'll send I sent some drums to Todd Zuckerman from Stitch, you know, to okay. to uh, try out. He has a couple in his collection, and um, he plays them on some of his tracks sometimes too. But I, you know, I love it. It's it's fun. Yeah, that's that's amazing. We, uh, we definitely have a have a good time doing it. Yeah. Well, cool. We will get out of here. Thank you. And no problem. I'll show you, I'll show you where we put them together. Kind of put. And you'll make some of your rings. Yeah, we make some. We make the hoops. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I don't make too much of the hoops because it just takes so long to do, and right. I just, I just, I can't get enough money out of it to really justify I got you. the time that it takes to do. So it's just, so. What do you pull the metal? Well, actually, not these. I do wooden ones. Okay. Okay. Yep, the match the drum. I got you. Yep. Okay. I had a guy. He hand painted this with a with an airbrush. Good and really uh, did just a phenomenal job on it, man. He's a uh, his name is, is uh, uh, Russell Sh uh, Shannon. Okay. He um, 
just did a phenomenal job on airbrushing it. And I, I got, I did this one right here. It's old cedar that I had. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. That's kind of me and Ron done that. We done that one as a collaboration. This is actually made from end grain of, of wood. It's not, it's not horizontal. It's not vertical. It's the end of yeah, the boards. I see. With the grain facing out. This is China berry here from an old China berry tree we cut really? down. Uh, black walnut. That's a uh, old mahogany. Old heart pine. That's southern yellow pine with the uh, with the uh, with the caliber bullets right here. The 45 handgun bullets. Really. For the air vents. So is that burnt or is that dyed? It's paint. Paint. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is all I got right now. I've been kind of closing out a lot of the drums, just trying to move them because eventually we're fixing to move and kind of get rid of it. I really like this right here. What, what wood is this? Um, that's heart pine and stainless steel. Um, it's 15 inch. It's a it's a it's a 14. 